Welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Vintage Collection Zutton 118 scale action figure. This is the card back that it comes on. On the top left, we have the four and above age recommendation. On the right, we have the warning tracking has the small parts for children under the age of three. On the right there, just below that warning, we have the Luke and Leia uh, vintage style picture. The center we have the Star Wars. Just below that we have the name pill for Zutton. And on the bottom right we have the classic Kenner logo. We have a pretty decent photo of the character here on the right. Not too bad. Kind of close up of him. It's okay. On the left we have the clamshell that houses the figure in the accessories. Looks really good. The back of the card, this is VC-189. Top half, we have the eight figures that are currently available with this action figure and a couple from the previous release uh, wave. Here we have the Vintage Collection logo. The bottom of the card is pretty much just warnings, legal information. Here's the UPC, if that helps you find this figure. Do we have the Disney and Hasbro logo? But oh, oh no, not too bad. Nothing special about the card image picture. Um, I really wish they'd get rid of the age recommendations and warnings and just put them on the back of the card where it belongs. Give it a better collector friendly, carded collector friendly uh, appearance and giving it all this print. It, makes, it would be so much cooler, right? I think, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package and we'll see what he looks like. So here he is inside his clamshell. So we have some kind of paper in the back. It's probably that same stuff we're used to seeing if you're watching my videos. It's just that same stuff that's on the back of the packaging and that warning in different languages. It's just actually a waste. So that's going in the garbage. Here's our figure. Doesn't appear to have any kind of um, rubber bands or tape on the figure. There's a piece of tape on the gun. Looks like we could just pop, pop these in and point them out. Let me go ahead and get that gun out of there. Okay, here he is, freed from the clamshell. Overall, from the first appearance, he looks pretty good. And it looks like the character. It's pretty good head sculpt. Let's see if we can take a look at that. Very nice. I think it's nice and cleanly done. Nice sculpting. Nice colors. The eyes really. Uh, it looks like he's kind of looking to want to the side there on both eyes. I'm kind of curious why they went with that um, paint scheme because it kind of looks like he's looking that way. Instead of just making it his center uh, looking paint. Looks like his tooth is painted white on that side. Which is really good. Ears are pretty good. The hair looks pretty good. Not too bad. Kind of looks, you know, nice sculpt looking paint. Kind of looks almost like realistic, but it's, it's not a soft good. It's plastic. He has a red... It's like a red karate gi on. It is a uh, like a dingy red with a heavy black wash. We have a flat black undershirt. We have tan pants. We have a like a flat black gloves. We have a brown uh, shin wraps. And his shoes are a different shade of brown, it's a little darker. Too bad. It's like we have part of his belt as a hoop for his his uh, weapon. I do not know why they got to put this print on these figures. Put the that stuff on the bottom of the feet, which are his two pick holes. We don't need to see that paint on it. It really takes away from the aesthetic of the figure. 
I'm not sure if that's even necessary for the toy laws or toy standards. Looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. So if we start with his head, it doesn't look down. You get it an up a bit, and you know, pretty good. But he comes back to stationary. We have a little side to side, and it's on a ball joint, and it rotates right off. It pops on no perfectly. Kind of okay has a hunchback here on this one side of the figure. Let's take a look at his arms. His shoulders are on a ball joint. They rotate 360. They do raise up. And we can get a upward motion like this. We have a 360 at the wrist. Uh, on both arms. Then we have the elbow bend. And we're not going to get anywhere near a 90 degree bend. Let's take a look at the hands. We have a rotation here, 360, and it looks like it's an, I want to say it's an in and out maybe. Can't wait really tilt through the camera. Take a closer look at that. Unfortunately, there is no joints. It just rotates 360. The design of those gloves makes it look like if I can get the focus. There's a joint there, but there's really not. It's just a glove. Which is unfortunate because it gives you better appearance and flexibility when you're trying to pose with your his blaster. So that's definitely unfortunate. He has a waist swivel. And it will go 360 if you like. No problem. Um, well, if you really push on it, you can get a good sitting for him. But it does push up on his, uh, his, I'm just going to call it his gi because it's a little bit with. Not too bad. So you can sit on your, uh, bar stools if you have the cantina bar sets. Um, let's see here. There's no swivel or anything I can tell. You just have a single joint in these. Like so. So when he's sitting, he's he can't even get a 90 degree bend on his knees either. And it looks like his joints are not the same color as his pants, which is unfortunate. Where he takes away from the overall appearance and aesthetic. And also we have the same problem when his feet do pivot down, but we have the red joint. So I'm just going to go ahead and say like, I feel like uh, Hasbro is trying to kill the 118 scale collectors with the lack of care in these figures. Which is unfortunate because then you find people that have supported this brand for how long now? Maybe you're talking to people who collect the vintage all the way up to like the power of the fours. You know, that people have backed them and bought their products. And now they're, gonna, they're just trying to phase out 118 scale. They don't pretty much care in them anymore. It feels like and they still charge you 13 bucks if you find them, you know, in a Walmart or a Target. Um, it's obviously what's happening because of if you watch Hasbro Pulse this year, they've done it to the G.I. Joe brand. They don't care about the three and three fourth inch or 118 scale figures apparently. And if I can remember correctly, a few years ago they were pimping out vintage collector collection cards like crazy. And you're barely getting, you know, five waves a year anymore if you're lucky. And you cannot even find them in a the store half the time. So you end up paying actually more money for figures that they kind of are lacking on articulation for one, on appearance for two with these joints, playability. It's just it seems like you're buying a you know more of a uh, 
POA. So, I don't know, but that's my opinion. And I hope one day they wake up before it's too late. Because if they've actually phased out, you know, through 118 scale G.I. Joes, then I don't for Star Wars to be next on the chopping block. But overall, it's an okay figure. It's worth about 10 bucks in my opinion. Um, let's take a look at his gun real quick. Kind of looks like a Han Solo blaster. Too bad. It is small. Let's see why he holds it. He does have a trigger finger there. It's okay. But without the wrist articulation, you're just basically going to get a standard kind of pose. A very basic pose. See how well fits in his back? Actually fits relatively perfectly. No complaints there. But you can see the red joints from behind, which that's a at this level of toy making, that shouldn't even be an issue anymore. Overall, it's okay, I guess. Um, if you can find it, I rec only recommend it if you, you know, you can get it in a store for like no more than like 15 bucks. You know, that's pushing it. But it's okay. Nothing great about it. Just wonder if anybody else out there is starting to notice the lack of 118 scale in not only in Star Wars but in other brands. They don't seem to make the characters in the vintage collections that collectors want that's been collecting these figures for many years. Um, like for example, the Bad Batch. There's a new Disney show coming out called The Bad Batch with Clone Force 99. And they've released, you know, for all four of those Bad Batch clones in the 6 inch scale, but there's nothing in the 3 and 3 fourth inch. So, you know, that's kind of irritating. They're basically on their way to retrain the market and eliminate this scale. But hopefully, I'm wrong, and we'll see in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at this action figure. If you did, please consider subscribing, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.